early detection, uh, finding it early, early diagnosis, screening, and integration of CKD within other um, health services, at, particularly at the primary healthcare level, which is so important. So accelerating implementation is our first headline. Second headline is around, and it very much echoes um, uh, one of the comments earlier, is around mobilizing financing and make, making this about an investment. You know, I think someone, I think it was Vanilla that said earlier, um, you know, rather than talking about CKD and NCDs as a cost, as an expenditure, as something that's gonna take up all of your health budget as a minister, let's talk about this as an investment, both in terms of the short term, you know, governments have a political mindset of three to five years. What are the wins in three to five years that you're going to see? But also those kind of longer term intergenerational impacts that you can have. So really kind of making this about financing and investment. Number three is about kind of integration and breaking down the silos. I think for us, we want to make sure that this high level meeting is not just a meeting of the NCD community, that we're bringing in the broader global health community, that we're bringing in universal health coverage as an important pillar, given it's such a hot topic at the global level, um, and many other parts of the global development community, climate, HIV, AIDS and TB, nutrition, you name it, making it much broader. Um, number four is a, is a very relevant uh, uh, priority for this uh, event, which is about strengthening community engagement. I think as Di was sharing right at the beginning there from WHO's perspective, in the last seven years we've seen really important strides at the global level of recognising the value, the importance of people living with NCDs, with CKD, as experts in their own right. They should be at the table when governments are developing policies, when they're designing health systems and services, when they're monitoring and evaluating the impact of those. So we need to make sure that this high level meeting, in our view, is really strengthening that community engagement aspect. And I said the final one, and as I say, this is all about tailoring it to your, your specific community, is about um, accountability. Uh, we've obviously got global targets on non-communicable diseases, many of which um, run out in 2025 or 2030. There's gonna be a whole process likely of developing what comes next, what are the new targets, and how should CKD be featuring in those targets? So I would really kind of welcome ongoing conversations with this community particularly about what we should be aiming for with future targets, whether it's for 2035 or to even 2050.